You know, I just noticed on my last news videos that I posted that all the characters on the thumbnails had their hands on their face. And I don't know why I'm bringing that up, I just needed something for the intro. Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. And be sure to leave me your thoughts and opinions on this topic down in the comments section. Angry hate mail is welcome too, but there's no reason for it uh, this time, because I've got some excellent news for you guys. And boy could we ever use a heaping dollop of that these days. Truth be told, this is a video I wanted to make sooner, but I decided to wait a little bit longer until we were a little bit more closer to the deadline and thus all of our blood pressures would be through the roof. Hopefully this will calm them though. So if you watched my recent video about games that made it past the PS Vita deadline for the store, meaning that what you saw in that video were the final PS Vita store releases we're ever gonna get. Link in the description, blatant plug I know. For shame. That being Indigo 7, Russian Subway Dogs, Witchy Craft, Mind Maze, Ultra Mission, Killer Dolls, and uh, sadly it's my unfortunate news to tell you guys that Seraphim, which was the only iffy title on that list, unfortunately the dev has confirmed that due to a technical issue on their end, the game won't be able to make the deadline for PS Vita. Ah, iffy is as iffy does I guess. They said that they could have released the game as is, but it might have ended up being a little bit on the buggy side. So I give them credit that they didn't want to release a game that wasn't up to their expectations. Unlike some other games we received recently, which shall remain unnamed, that frame rate though. But regardless of all that though, these are in fact going to be the final PS Vita store games we'll ever receive. And at that point you probably think to yourself, oh alright I guess that's it then, looks like that's a wrap. Not exactly guys, because, and I know this is going to be blowing some minds here, and I got a feeling a lot of people don't know about this, we still have some new PS Vita games to look forward to even past the deadline. Yeah, I kid you not. What? What's that? What evil forces could be at work here? Well actually technically now that I think about it, wouldn't they be called good forces in this case? Now of course the way we're going to be acquiring new PS Vita games even past the deadline comes from one awesome beautiful company named East Asia Soft and Play Asia 2. But how can this be you may ask? I mean all East Asia Soft ever does is just bring out digital only releases and put them onto a physical cartridge. What's the difference? That doesn't make them new. Ah but if you've been watching their pattern as of late, you'll see that lately that hasn't been the case. Also to the fact that I have no life so I notice stuff like this. I now bring to your attention everyone, the likes of Luxlinger, Horizon Chase Turbo, Pushy and Pulley in Blockland or whatever it's called. And heck, let's go even further back than that. Let's include Unmetal, Nicole, and well, you guys get the idea. Now just what do these games all have in common you may ask? Well at this point you probably have all guessed it, yep, all of these these games that I have mentioned thus far are available only as a physical copy for the PS Vita, which were released very recently in the grand scheme of things. But more importantly, they were never included at all on the PS Vita store, as per usually intended. In fact, this blew a lot of our minds because up until this point, I was under the impression that, i.e. according to Sony's rules, you absolutely had to have a digital version if you hope in fact to have a physical copy of your game. But we learned that uh, due to, I guess, some shenanigree, then that's not not exactly the case here. Honestly, have I used this meme enough times on this channel? Way too much. So you can draw your conclusion of to where as I am going with this. Just because the PS Vita store deadline has ended, doesn't mean we're not going to be seeing any more new PS Vita games. Ah, is that blood pressure going down? Because I know mine is. Whoa, it may be going too far down in fact. Because if we look at the pattern here with East Asia Soft getting a lot of exclusive physical only titles that are skipping the store, we can expect that we're going to be getting that in the future past this this summer. In fact, we have heard exclusively from East Asia Soft themselves that they have a lot more new PS Vita physical copies that they have planned for the rest of 2021 and maybe, if we're lucky, they said early 2022. Now, we have to bear a few things in mind with this. Number one is that East Asia Soft is keeping very tight lipped over what games we can expect for the rest of this year. Uh, basically, they're being party poopers. Two, the deadline for Asian PS Vita cards, called Asian English releases, has already long since passed earlier this year. Meaning that whatever games they have planned for us in the pipeline, they're already finished and on cards, so we can't request any more from them. Basically what they have done is done. And 
then, number three, we can confirm that we will be getting more physical-only titles by Luke Bernard, a PS Vita dev, who has already confirmed that his upcoming PS Vita release, Skull Pirates, is going to be a physical-only game for the Vita. Which I can understand completely 100% where he's coming from. With all the shenanigans that's been going on with the stores of late, I don't blame him one bit for skipping over it. So, for anyone out there who is very big on buying games on the PS Vita store, you may want to keep an eye out on East Asia Soft to see what games they're going to be releasing, because I bet my bottom dollar here that a majority of the games that we're going to be getting have a very high probability of being a physical only release. So if you're not going to be able to purchase it that way, you're going to be able to at least have another way to do so, even if physical isn't your thing. So I just wanted to share this with everyone because I think a lot of people out there are assuming that, well, the deadline's over with, so that's it. No more new Vita games. Eh, that's not the case. We still have much more to look forward to for the rest of this year. Now, that's not to say all of the East Asia Soft releases are going to be just physical only titles. They could still be older digital releases, but I got a feeling that a good portion of them are going to be brand new titles with physical only means of acquiring them. And if that ends up being the case, we're going to have physical lovers, collectors, digital supporters, and scalpers all trying to go for these very small quantity of Vita games. It's going to be quite the bloodbath. And that's pretty much it, guys. Wanted to just give this video to you real quick and let you know that we still have a silver lining here. Be sure to leave me your thoughts and opinions on this and what games you would love to see get a physical release down in the comments section. Oh, and I guess any hate mail you may have too. I already opened up that can of worms. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including Jamie, Matt Hargit, Dr. Super Artie, Crazy Cat, Mozgus, Romp King, Colossus, Tasha Monty, Donut Valley, Ricardo Martinez, Eric DeWitt, Nintendo Switch at 2am, Juan M. Hermesio, Azumara, Burrs and Mystery, 1488 Dental, Michael O'Connor, Kayonko, Saki Balam, Robert Sylvester, Hector Gonzalez, Smug Wolf, Robert Johnson, Makis Blob, Zake Blue One, Zacrito, B Mystery, Freighton, Matt Fox, Joseph Raismick, Reiko Star, Nirarashi, Shin Snake, Milk Sama, Lucian Ryu Cat, Alan Iwazu, Larry Anderson, Rodrigo Vera, Skullshire Tugel TCG, David Ray, Gutter Drums, Phantom XRS, BMF, Hero Acer, Adam Sondi, Claymer Malarkey, Saul Ramirez, Hemdal Imbert, Kyle Brooks, Joshua Williams, PS Vita S, JR, Jared Hado, Richard Cruz, Erock, Kevin Enright, Lori Sweeney, Jelle, Heston Joseph, H Hitter, Aaron Swanson, Adam Thury, and Wendy K. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screener, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. Likes and shares can help equally as much. Aha! Looks like we wound up Sony today. That is, until they one up us back.